All right, what's going on homies? Barth here, and today I will be showing you how to bypass Windows Defender false positives. This tutorial should be used if you have some sort of application or a piece of software or an executable file, or maybe there's a video game that you've been wanting to play recently that keeps getting blocked by Microsoft. Hint, hint, wink, wink. You want to know how to get around that. So I will be showing you how to do so in this video. Launcher.exe that we're going to be looking at today is the one in question. I've been seeing a lot of other people downloading this launcher executable file, and they say that Windows Defender is reporting it as some piece of malware. Whether it's a Trojan or a backhorse or some other virus, Windows Defender doesn't like it and it's saying do not proceed with this download. The people that have downloaded this executable and ignored Microsoft Windows Defender's recommendations, I've not seen them report anything malicious on their system since the download. I haven't said they've had any personal information stolen, nobody's hacked them, nothing malicious done on their computer. It seems like everything is safe. This applies for me as well. I went ahead and downloaded this about five days ago. I went around all the Microsoft Windows Defender recommendations to download it because again, false positive and I'm 99.9999999% sure that it is safe. Creators of this launcher exe file have come out and said that Microsoft Windows Defender is indeed marking as a false positive and it is safe to download. At the end of the day, you're trusting random people on the internet as to whether or not it is safe to download. If you want to err on the side of caution, I would say that your tutorial ends here. Don't feel like dealing with any of the Trojans or backdoors or potential malware that could come with this executable file to stop here nor what I'm about to do. However, if you also believe that it is a false positive and this executable file is safe or whatever you're trying to download is safe, then uh, let's begin the tutorial. So we're going to start here. I have visited this GitHub page where there is a launcher.exe for a game that we'll call, uh, let's see, Nacho Cheese Doritos. So when I try to download the Nacho Cheese Dorito launcher, Microsoft Windows Defender blocks it immediately. It's saying that this looks like it's something malicious, we're not gonna even try to download it at all. But again, I know that it's a false positive, so I wanna get around this. So what do we do? We click the three dots up here, and we're gonna click keep. And then it's gonna say, this app is unsafe. Are you sure you really wanna do that? And yes, I am sure, because I know it's a false positive. So I click show more, and I click keep anyway. However, it's still not gonna let you download it. It thinks there is a virus detected. So to get around that, we click the Win Security window down here. We go into Protection History. We can see I've tried to download this file several times today and several times yesterday. Each time it thinks the threat has been blocked. But again, I know it's a false positive and we want to get around this. So how do we do that? We click the arrow right here for the threat that was blocked. Click Yes on Windows Security. It gives you some detail about what was blocked. So it thinks that it's a Trojan, thinks the launcher executable is that Trojan, so it went ahead and removed it. But again, I know it's a false positive. I want to get around this, so I click Actions, and I click Allow, and I click Yes. So once we do that, Windows Defender thinks that this executable is a safe file, so let's try to download it again. Once we do that, it once again thinks it's not safe. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click the three dots, and we're going to click Keep. It says, are you sure you want to do that? We think it's unsafe, but I know it's a false positive, so keep anyway. This time, the launcher executable file actually downloads. I have experienced one other time when I tried to download the launcher exe a second time, it was blocked again. But then I just go through and do the same steps. You click the three dots, you click the keep, then you click keep anyway, you go into Windows Defender, you expand it, and you select actions, and you click allow. So if anything, you have to do it twice, and then the third time, the download should work. So once you do that, you have your launcher executable file inside of your downloads, and you can go ahead and launch it. Windows Defender is going to try to ask you one more time. It's going to say, we think this file is malicious. You shouldn't run it. But again, for the last time, we know that it's a false positive. So we're going to click more info, and then we're going to click run anyway. And once you do that, your installation should begin. So I went ahead and went through the executable file installation. Uh, it was very straightforward. Basically, you just click next a bunch to get all the way through it. It's particular executable, it was a peer-to-peer -peer download. During the installation, I had to allow the firewall to uh, make a couple changes to allow a peer-to-peer -peer connection to download the files. 
Uh, I also had to choose an install directory to put the executable file. I just chose my desktop. I named the directory Doritos because the game I'm downloading is Nacho Cheese Doritos. Uh, and then it went through the installation process, took about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, it will vary depending on your network speed. Once you're done that, it is all finished. So I have my Nacho Cheese Doritos game right here. All the files are inside. Uh, there is one more thing that you want to do uh, with Windows Defender to make sure that your game is good to go. So typically for Nacho Cheese Doritos, once you download the game, the game will run just fine for the first day or two but then it will eventually detect a couple more files inside of your directory that it thinks is malicious. So there are three files for this particular executable file that I went ahead and excluded. So to do that, you wanna go back into your Windows Defender, go to Virus and Threat Protection, and then you wanna to go to Virus and Threat Protection Settings. Click Manage Settings, you wanna scroll down, and there's an Exclusion setting. Click Add or Remove Exclusions, click Yes, and for me, like I said, for this particular executable file, there's three things that I want to exclude. If you download something different, uh, you can go ahead and exclude it here if you know there's files there, but for Nacho Cheese Doritos, and hit Wink Wink, there's three files that you want to put in exclusions. So we're going to click Add an Exclusion, and then File. Now I want to go to my Doritos directory. Three files that I want to put in exclusions is totally not custom menu. Second file I want to do is totally not El Dorado. And the third file that I want to put in is totally not Launcher. Once I have those three files there, they will be excluded from being searched by uh, Windows AV. Again, they're false positives. Everything that I have installed is safe. Whatever you install, whether it's the same launcher.exe for nachos, Doritos, hint, hint, wink, wink, or some other executable file or application or software, make sure whatever you're putting in the exclusions list is indeed safe. I can go ahead and launch my totally not eldorado.exe now, and everything will run perfectly fine. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you bypass Windows Defender false positives. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to stick around for more content that I have coming on this way, whether it includes El Dorito, hint, hint, wink, wink, uh, Master Chief Collection, Halo Infinite, or, you know, whatever else I want to create, uh, videos will definitely be coming in the future. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Peace.